for quarterfinals day and the hundred all in It's great night up for you this evening. And having a look at that, we're starting with women's singles, the world champion Moon Lan up against the former All England champion Tina Rasmussen. Then the world, the former world champions Lars Porska and Jonas Rasmussen in the men's doubles against the youngsters from Malaysia. Then mixed doubles and home interest, Anthony Clark with his new partner Heather Olver up against the Olympic champions Lee Yongdae and Lee Ho Jung. Then following that mixed doubles we'll have men's singles and Taufik Hidiat, the former world and Olympic champion up against the four-time European champion Peter Gaeta. Then another English pairing in the mixed doubles, Nathan Robertson and Jenny Woolworth up against Nova Widianto and Liliana Nazio, who of course have won the world championships twice. Then men's singles and the current world number one, Lee Chong Wei up against the qualifier, Sean from Korea. Then the last of our seven matches this evening, the Olympic champions, Marcus Kido and Hendra Sethiawan up against Chu Tan Fu and Lee Wang Wa of Malaysia. So the first of those matches, of course, is the women's singles. A repeat of the 2008 final here at the All England. Tino Rasmussen up against Lu Lan of China. So let's get on with the action. Let's get down courtside with our MC, David Pope. quarterfinals here at the All England Championships, the 100th All England Championship to be precise. A repeat of the final here two years ago. Tino Rasmussen, the tall Dane on the left as we look at them up against the current world champion Lu Lan from China. Well, quarterfinal stage and both players so aware of the importance of this. Just three courts in action on quarterfinals day. But at the moment, everything is spotlighted and focused on the centre court. Wonderful arena here, the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham. 
Now let's look at Lu Lan, and oh well, she had a tough match late last night. No problems in the first round against Yip Wee Yin of Hong Kong, but against the Scottish number one, Susan Egglestaff. My goodness, look at that. Well, she had to save two game points in that open game before she came through 25-23, lost the second 20-22 and then came through in the third, 21-17. An hour and seven minutes for that second round match against the British number one, not just the Scottish number one. So for Tina Rasmussen, a much easier route through to quarter-final stage. First round against Kim Mugi of Korea. And then in the second round against Iriko Hirose of Japan. Now, that was a surprise because, of course, the Japanese player beat the number two seed in the first round, Wang Lin of China. So for Tina Rasmussen uh, to beat the victor over the number two seed in two straight games, 12 and 12, that was very impressive indeed. So these two players, a wealth of experience. Tina Rasmussen, 30 years of age, but unseeded this year. That really is quite remarkable. That's a big surprise to me. She's been in the final of the All England for the last two years. She won two years ago, beating her opponent of today, obviously. And then last year, she was runner-up to Wang Hee Yan. So <laughs> final two years running, not seeded this time around, and I'm sure that's an issue that myself and my co-commentator Ian Wright will come to a little bit later but Tina Rasmussen Ian is such a physically strong player yeah she's found a real style of her own to play with and uh, she's found a way of combating the physicality of the Chinese yeah, ready she, players really please has. As far as Lu Lan is concerned, 22 years of age, born in Changzhou in China, world ranking of six and seeded six here at the All England Championships. But of course, she did win the world title last year in Hyderabad, beating Xi Jinping in the final. But it's her first tournament of 2010, and I wonder if that could just be a deciding fact in heavy training i am led to believe there's jane hancock our umpire for the first of the quarterfinals matches so this judge will be chris taylor now yet to arrive in numbers complete sellout for tomorrow's semi-finals and sunday's finals ladies and gentlemen on my right, Tina Rasmussen, Denmark. <laughs> On my left, Lulan, China. <laughs> Lulan to serve, love all, play. So the number one player from Europe, Tina Rasmussen, the Dane nearest to us in the black kit. So it's over, one the love. current world champion Lu Lan from China. 30 years of age, Tina Rasmussen. Her opponent just 22. But it is the Chinese player who is seeded here at this year's All England Championships. Number six seed. Just finding the net with that net shot. Mulan. Two. Quite love. unbelievably, Ian. The fact that Tina Rasmussen, final for the last two years, having won two years ago, her world ranking has dropped to number 10, which of course means she hasn't been seeded. But to me, that's a huge surprise because while she's missed a few tournaments recently in the last 12 months or so because of injury problems, when she is playing, she's playing very well and getting good results. Yes, over the last couple of years, Tina's been very, very consistent and uh, the only reason for the drop in ranking this year has been injuries. And it's a shame that badminton can't maybe look at a tennis type system so where One, you can get, a, get an adapted ranking uh, if you're injured for any period of time. But uh, this is going to be a really interesting match tonight. Good clash of styles. Well, going for aggressive early. Two, 
oh. stages, Tino Rasmussen. Just want to pick up on that point, Ian, because you say contrasting styles. Now, I mean, I, I've watched both these players so many times in international competition. The 